Drug maker Pfizer, we're hearing that they're also now saying that they've got a third dose, uh, that booster shot we've been talking about. However, the CDC and the FDA are saying, <laughs> hey, not so fast. It theme of the day in terms of COVID coming out of our government agencies and big pharma confusion. Mm -hmm. And this is the first example. So late yesterday, Pfizer released some encouraging data. They've been testing, as we know, a third dose, a booster dose. They have found that it provides strong and sustained immune protection when given six to 12 months after the second dose. Basically, their philosophy, their data saying two doses is good, three doses even better. But as you said, Amy and TJ, mm -hmm. FDA and CDC definitely pumping the brakes at this point saying, we're not there yet. We don't even know if a booster will be necessary. It may be, and if it is, we don't know when. At this time, it's premature to say everyone will need a booster. Three is better, but four is going to be great. And then five, <laughs> woo, five. Okay, we got another headline here, though, uh, CDC-related, talking about teachers and students when it comes to being vaccinated. Yeah, and this is just out today. The CDC saying that for kids um, K through 12, who have been vaccinated, teachers and staff who have been vaccinated, when they return to school, they will not need to wear masks. They are still recommending three feet of distancing. Again, this is only for vaccinated people. So opening up potentially a can of worms here. How will that be verified? Will schools um, demand that and require that? Uh, at the end of the day, the CDC leaving it up to local, state, territorial, and tribal officials to make this decision. So as I said, confusion leads the COVID news today. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. We'll continue. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.